Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anuj, I am a second year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur. And as you have probably guessed, this video is all going to be about the room tour of which I stay in right now. So before we dive into, let me tell you a few things. First of all, I stay right here in Nagpur and I am a localite. A lot of you have questioned about that. And also, I live with my parents and that's a privilege that most people don't get to have once they have entered the medical college. So I am blessed to have that. But yeah, this is a light video. And Feel free to stay till the end. Anyways, let's get started. Coming to the first place of my room and perhaps the most attractive thing about my room is this library. So let's start from the start. The start is the, at the top. So these are the books which I actually used when I was studying for NEET. That is for NEET UG. So it's got like chem, physics, chem and biology. The next segment here is the books which I read in first year and I've made an in-depth video about it. You can check it out. And these are the books that I've been using for second year. So that was all about it. A uh, thing which I'd like to pinpoint here, there are two dream catchers and these dream catchers were gifted to me by a very close friend and it was actually a part of the tour that we took to Shimla. Moving on to this part of my library. This side of the library has more to do with uh, non-academical things so it has books of fictions and science fiction and all of those other things so highlights of few of these books from here I have the Hunger Games and the Wimpy Kid which everybody has then from here I have the autobiography of a yogi and here I have Homo Deus I also had Sapiens then my father took it because he wanted to read it and this person uh, I named him David in first year and he's been my friend ever since please do not take that in a wrong way now uh, as you can see there are a lot of other books too so let me tell you a bit about them this here is the entire section of the notes uh, which actually my sister prepared she is uh, she is a doctor in mumbai and so yeah these are her notes as well as some other books which she has read so this part of the library has nothing to do with me and but the rest of it is basically uh, self made moving on to something else now i like to tell you that there is another segment right here but it has nothing to do with academics, it is all about life. So let me take you through it. So if you were to ask me, what are the assets that you own Anuj? And first of all, without naming any other thing, I would first name my friends. Because having friends is such a big deal uh, in life and in medical college because of obvious reasons. So this side is all about life. And what is the taste of life without some salt and sugar? So these are my friends. And uh, instead of posting them on my Facebook wall, I've posted them over here. And this frame is actually handmade. And you know, I had a lot of frames, but I picked this one. Next, I have here the creative section of my life. And these are the two butterflies that actually my brother made for me. So again, friendship, brotherhood. Also, then I have here some academics, but mostly passion. So this is a stethoscope and it says Dr. Anuj Pachelier. I am not a doctor yet, but I will be one day. And I have the hammer. And now these two things uh, we use for our medicine postings, maybe community medicine or medicine as it is. So that was about that. Also, I'd show you one more thing just in a minute. So every room has a bed and all of the other things associated with it. But only this room has something more. It has a guitar next to a bed. <laughs> that is so silly, right? So if you are entering a medical college, I would highly suggest that you pick up a hobby. And this is the hobby that I developed when I you know, first got into second year. Because second year is the time when I, we, we as a batch of 2018 had a lot of time to do. And it has been uh, the best thing one of the best decisions of my life so if you're planning to get a guitar and with that uh, it basically ends the creative and the life part of my room <sighs> Moving on. over to the right side of the bed there is something as important as the library that is my whiteboard and uh, this is one of the two things that have led me to start this channel in the first place so thank you whiteboard and thank you library coming back to it the first thing that i usually do in the morning is after i wake up i note down the objectives uh, of the day that whatever i have to do i have to complete it and you might have noticed it if you have been here since long 
so uh, objectives and all of that and this is the first whiteboard that I ever bought and this is the first whiteboard in which I've started teaching stuff also along with the whiteboard on this side I have a portrait of Sai Baba which is a guru uh, that we believe in in India basically so yeah this photo has been with me since I was like in fourth or fifth maybe so I've carried it through two homes and it has stayed right here in my bedroom ever since then as we are speaking about this side of the room let me also tell you a bit about the wall that is just behind me so the story goes like this on my 19th birthday which was last year my friends decorated the wall right behind me so they put up all the photos and one of them actually told me that after we are done with the birthday please take out the photos as they will fade away but till now I guess more than seven months have passed but I haven't actually taken down the photos because I don't want to with that being said let's move on to the other segment of my room coming to the anterior side with relation to my bed here we have the cupboards and in the cupboards I have the clothes but more importantly I use the cupboards for just more than the clothes because the surface of the cupboards provides a surface in which I can use it potentially as a notice board and maximum earth sign. This is inspired from some movie, I don't remember which it is. So that is all about this cupboard. Coming over to this side, we actually have a mirror right here which actually opens up to reveal all the things essential for, you know, beauty and stuff. Apart over on this side, on the far side of the anterior wall, we have what is called as the cupboard which is never opened. So this cupboard is not actually inspired from Narnia but it actually has a lot of bed sheets. Again you can see there are two of my little friends, two butterflies, together. I don't know what's going on between them but they are always together. Funny isn't it? Moving on to the most important segment of this entire room that is my computer. Actually wait, let me prioritize this once again. The most important part of any room is the bed because if you don't sleep how are you going to be the very productive person that you can be? So, the most important part of my room is actually my bed. What is there to say? It's a bed. And it does what all beds do. Moving on to the real deal now. <laughs> that is actually my computer. And you might be thinking where my study table is. Well, I'll just get to that in one moment. So here I own a Samsung curved OLED monitor which actually goes up to 4K and then I have in there a 16 gigs of RAM packed with 1 terabytes of storage and 4 gigs of graphic card. So this is a pretty high-end machinery according to my needs. It might be the lowest end according to yours. Mm -hmm. Moving on to another part of this entire room which is actually uh, I like to call it the tech table because it holds a lot of technology over it. So the tech table starts just when the computer table ends. It is actually the lowermost compartment of my library. So as you can see from the start to the end I have some stationery over here and then progressively as we go I have my laptop, the charger, a few watches then I go to the mo most important tech table. In here you can see that there are Bluetooth headphones, a power bank, my phone, my iPad and a few other things. And by this time of the video you're probably thinking where does this guy study? So my answer is first of all I study in the bed a lot of the times and if I'm not studying here I can do all of my work on my computer but there is one more thing that is in my house that I have essentially utilized it just for the purpose of studies so let's go there so this is the place that I have been studying for a long duration now well because of the comfort of the chairs in the room next to mine it was originally my sister's but since she has moved out and gone to be a doctor in Mumbai uh, this room is left all to be mine <laughs> anyway so another great thing that this room allows me to do is that uh, whenever I want to get close uh, to get some air or see some nature I could just come up to my window and just sit here for a long time Hey everyone, so thank you for watching this video and uh, I hope it provided some insight into my personal life and if anyway if you like this video 
uh, please give it a thumbs up it really means more than anything and also please subscribe to my channel we just hit 10,000 and I wish that we could go to a lot more in the future and so thank you for everything and till next time stay healthy stay happy and stay safe see you soon